Kanye has uh, praised a particular sneaker. And the surprising part is uh, the, the manufacturer of the sneaker that he's praising. Now, you see the sneaker there. Mm. And it kind of looks like, uh, like Kanye would like that sneaker as soon as you see it. Yeah. You can imagine Kanye liking that sneaker. But the, the reason it's newsworthy, well, it's, first of all, it's a very flashy looking sneaker which I'm going to have to describe to the people on the audio only. This is a strappy looking thing, very deconstructed. You can see through it. I believe somebody said in the article here it was reminded them of anime. I don't know if you would go with that. Well, I don't watch any anime, so. I, I don't really know. Why <laughs> are you assuming that I do? I didn't I didn't say that you did. I said maybe you do. Oh, well, I, I don't know. Vin watches anime. I kind of. Yeah. Vin, you watch anime? What, Cowboy Bebop or what do you got? Oh, that's a great anime. <laughs> oh, so what are you doing, man? You're yelling at me and then you're telling me it's a great that anime. Is a classic. Then you tell me it's a great anime. So uh, anyways, I don't know if they wear that in Cowboy Bebop, but the no. reason it's newsworthy is because it's a shoe put out by Nike and Kanye and Nike don't like each other. Remember after the Yeezy stuff, yes. the original Yeezy stuff was done with them. They had a dispute. He ends up at Adidas and then he doesn't say too many nice things about Nike after mm -hmm. that. And you would assume maybe contractually he can't even. But he comes out, puts out a tweet, and he says, all caps, wow, double space, so cool Nike, space, triple dot space, keep in innovating. The world needs it. Great job. So and I, I, I like the formatting of the tweet, by the way. Yeah. Makes you think. All caps. And I, I prefer the space. unusual spacing of it. Makes it, uh, it makes it artistic. And also you can see his foot peeking out, which he has one of those futuristic easy oh, products yeah. on that sneaker on that left foot. But he's a, uh, I don't know, is that? Oh, he spelled world wrong. Mm. Yeah. Is is that, is he being authentic or is he taking a jab at at Nike? I just, I just had that thought right now. I read the article and assumed he was just congratulating them and being nice and saying, I like this design. But is he taking a shot at them? Now I'm, I'm just double taking it. Taking yeah, another look here. I, I try to take the skeptical mind. Yeah. And be like, yeah, he's uh He might be taking making fun of him. He might be taking yeah. a shot? Yeah. What? And saying that it's a that's a goofy shoe? Yes. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll never Even know, obviously. Kanye. Maybe uh well, Kanye can call into the show and let us know what he actually thinks. Yeah, hit me up. It's an open invitation. All you gotta do is email will at lulater.com. It's real simple. What do you think about the shoe? Yeah, it looks futuristic. I don't know about shoes anymore. Everybody, what about, what it's if all. It's black, like just black. If out. it's black, maybe. Yeah. But it's got to be functional. Will you know me? If I slap it on and it's crazy comfort level, and I really feel I'm bouncy and I'm feeling light on my feet, you got me. But I gotta have. I gotta have function. Yes. I'll take I, uh, fancy form and cool form and futuristic form. I'll take it all. But I got to have the function. So that's what it's going to depend on for me. I don't know. Maybe Nike can give us those as well. Mm -hmm. If Kanye doesn't get in touch, maybe Nike get in touch. I'll do a live, a fit test. 